Welcome back to Waterpark Rangers Let's Play Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. In the last episode, we beat Slytherin and Quidditch, and we've started Neville's minigames. Today, we're continuing the next minigame. Gnome Tossing. Bet you can't beat the current gnome throwing record, Potter. Why don't you have a go? It'll cost ten <laughs> Now, this is the first time I've ever really tried this game, and from what I can tell about Gnome Tossing, it's kind of like throwing them through these hoops, and I've never had really a successful attempt at getting all of them done before, so... Oh, see, we once again, we perfectly tie Fred's record. Um, so the idea is basically, as you can see, throw them down with enough um, force to get them into the ring that's the proper distance, which is easier said than done, really, because the direction has to be right, and um, the direction of your throw, the direction of the, the ring and the way it's uh, moving, and the values that have to pass whatever Fred's record is. And I've never successfully done them all. I mean, see, we finished the first one here. Uh, we've easily beat the record, and I'm just gonna toss the other gnome out of the way. Once you have the record beaten, I don't see any point in getting any more points in it. And for every one of these games you beat, you get a wizard card for that challenge. Have a wizard card for beating the record. And you'll be see you'll see that we're gonna do a series of them. Each one could uh, could have been available from every day on. I think from the first. Number fifteen, Paracelsus. Hmm, that's odd. But um, the thing about it is that each one would become available as each day appeared at Hogwarts. Um, but now since we hadn't done them on the other days, we're gonna have to do them all today, which is gonna be very time consuming and bean consuming. So as you can see, this is a different tower, and we've got a different. Challenger. Also, I don't see why Neville likes to, like, abuse the gnomes. He loves to drown them in water, throw them off towers. Like, throwing them over a wall is fine, but this is deadly. And see, it's, it got a little bit more expensive, 15 instead of 10. Uh, eventually, we're going to have to go back and grind for more beans once we run out, because I know this is going to take more tries. I'm glad that we, could act that we actually did that one on our first try, though. That was really lucky. Oh, wow, we actually got it. I thought we were going to miss. Okay, let's grab this one. And... Now the camera's in the right position. It's finally cooperating. Oh, wow, we somehow got a weird combo. I think that's what happens when you get it through either two in a row or two rings at the same time. It does some really weird thing to the score multi uh, multiplier. That might look like a fail, but the fact is I'm just swinging these gnomes out of the way because we don't need them. I wish there was a better way we could get rid of them. Honestly, this makes me feel sorry for the gnomes. Have a wizard card for beating the record. Have a wizard card. Number 16, Cleobni. I guess the wizard cards are sort of like the trophies in Melee, now that I'm thinking about it. It's an interesting kind of, like, gallery reward. Okay, so now we're on a different area of the castle. And in the PS2 version, you could just fly up here at any point and dismount and walk around like this. But, um, in this version, you can only fly around, you can only get up here. If you, uh, play the game. Oh, now it costs 20 beams. So that's more expensive. And I wonder how much difficult, how much more difficult this one's gonna be. I'm surprised we haven't yet lost. That's pretty amazing. Ugh, missed. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would, though. Typically, I just... I remember the first time I ever tried to play this, I just lost so many times I just gave up and thought it would be too hard. But, um... Hmm, well, uh, I may actually have to retry here. But so far, it's like... I've been doing so much better than I thought. And as you can see, the record gets a little bit tougher to break each time. First it was 100, then it was 120, I think. Now it's 150. Okay, 50. Yeah, we might not get it this time. <laughs> what? We got some completely ridiculous combo and got like... 400 more points than the allotted amount just from one throw. See, I have no idea how this score, uh, how this score multiplier works. Number 17, Morgan Le Fay. Oh, um, I actually know who that is. 
who was in a really, really bad movie, which I recommend you never see, called Hello, Excalibur. Honey. Yeah, that like was it. Throw some gnomes and beat the record. It'll cost 30 beans. Alrighty then. This is a slightly more expensive match. And I think we're probably running low on beans now. Because we've had to pay uh, a bit for our previous ones. Now that's easy enough to get. There is no way we're going to miss that. But 200 is a pretty hefty record to topple. So hopefully we can get some combos. This looks a little bit easier though. The rings are up closer and stuff. They're probably not so tough to get in. And I miss, of course. Wouldn't it be ironic? The other ones look so, look so much more difficult. What? Oh, we're too close. Of course. Harry spells home, but they don't home at close range. But it would be kind of ironic, like considering how. Oh yeah, this is. We are probably gonna lose it. I don't see how we can get that insane combo again. Uh, how like the other ones look tougher, but we did it in one try and. Oh, for a second I thought we actually lost the gnome. And this one actually took us the most tries. It could happen though, who knows. All I know is that I absolutely hate this minigame. But we're doing so much better on it that it kind of makes me feel like there's no point in no, saying it would be so like difficult. You, Potter. you didn't beat the record. Have another go, Potter. You might beat the record this time. It'll cost 30 B. <laughs> okay. Give me gnomes or give me death. Actually, no, I could I could do better things than that. So let's uh, pick this guy up. It's mostly just it's mostly just boring, really. Boring and tedious. That's what these mini games are. The next one uh, after this one, racing. Seventy. Okay. The next one after this one. Um, Racing has a lot of different matches that we could have done um, during all our days at Hogwarts, and so we're going to have to do them all, um, I think, over the span of two episodes. And it, it's... Oh, 320, we did it. And then 470? See, I don't understand how that works. If somebody could tell me or explain to me how it works, much appreciate it. I would give you a cookie. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Oh, come on. There's no point in you hanging around. I've won the game. You just lost the game. You managed to beat the record, Harry, and win a wizard card. Number 90, Newt Scamander. That's an actual book. It's been published. I think it's on the um, either the Monsters in the Series or something else that J.K. Rowling wrote. Um, I've decided that in editing can't beat the current gnome throwing record. for these uh last for this the last match here, to be I'm gonna cut short so you just see the gnomes getting tossed and not me having to go after each one because uh, this is the last match and because it costs so much it's probably destined to take a while so after I throw one I'll just show myself throwing the rest and I'll let, I'll let you see where they land ah we wasted one. Oh, that fell that fell short that one went too far and that one just sucked not bad but you didn't not bad I'm sorry but that was horrible we missed every single one. All right, so I, I grinded and I came back for more be with more beans. There to be beaten, Harry. Why don't you have a try? It's there it's to be beaten. No, it's there for me to lose to it. That's how this establishment works. I know Neville. I know his twisted mind. Okay, let's try again. Oh, that was way off. Could that go in? No, it looked like it would. Oh, we got one. 20, though. 250 is an incredible record. How are we going to top that? You didn't break the record this time, Potter. Although you didn't beat the record last Plus, because it's so expensive, we can only try two times before having to go back and grind. You're lucky that I'm cutting it all out. Oh, I missed. Almost 20. There we go. Oh, four. no, I thought it was a gold one. Oh, we could have won, maybe. Who knows? you didn't break the known record, Potter. Okay, I'm back for grinding again. Why don't you have a go at beating the current gnome throwing record, Harry? It'll cost 40 beans. <sighs> How many beans does Neville need to eat? <laughs> then again, you never see them get fed during this game. Maybe that's all that they have to eat at Hogwarts. 
It's kind of a dark thought. Oh, 50 points! Not that it matters. Oh, that was so off. You didn't break the record this time, Potter. No, but I'm gonna break your face. Again, Potter. This time you might break the known throwing record. It'll cost 40, 40 beans. Okay, okay. This time I'm gonna try and like watch the rings and see if I can judge from where they're gonna come from. Maybe that's the best way to go about it. Come on. No, what a waste. Oh, way off. Come on. No, that was just cheap. We didn't even get a single one. This is the worst minigame ever invented. Okay, I'm back after grinding again for like the fourth time. It also sucks. Whenever I go to do this, I have to go through like five load times, too. I'm never going to do 100% run again, I swear, after this. Stupid gnomes, stupid mini games. Okay, that's gotta land somewhere. Okay, 100. There we go, there we go. Come on, focus. Concentrate! No! You didn't break the record this time, Potter. Although you didn't beat the record last time, it's just the way he says it makes me hate him so much. I think you understand what I mean, right? You're not having to go and grind after every time that I fail. Or go through all these load times. It's just so, so irritating. I should be using Action Replay for this, I swear. I have one. No. It's mostly because the camera is so bad. No, not again. You didn't break the record this time, Potter. Okay, I'm back after grinding for the fifth time, and I am royally pissed. Why don't you have a try? It'll cost 40 beans. I want to flipendo this guy, pick him up by his feet, spin him around, and throw him through one of the rings. Actually, Neville's, Neville's the real jerk running this thing. He should be the one to be thrown off Hogwarts Tower, to be drowned in the lake. Oh, we got a weird combo. 180. We're so close. What? No! Come on, come on! No! We were so close! No, this time I might just... Die! I am so sorry that you have to watch this. What is that gnome even doing? The world has gone insane. Okay, I'm gonna time this carefully. This time, I'm really gonna time the rings. I don't want to have to go grind again. I don't want to grind again. Oh, too short. Come on. Please. Yes! We got some insane combo! Finally! It's over. It's over. It's all over. That probably cost us, like, 2,000 beans. That was ridiculous. Finally, this minigame is you dead. The record. Have a wizard card, Harry. You know what? Have an Avada Kedavra. If I, if I knew it, I would definitely use it. Actually, that's too kind. I would use some sharp weapon. Number 20. Wendelin the Weird. Well, I can see where someone would enjoy being burnt at the stake more than playing that minigame. Alright, so that's all. This episode is sheerly dedicated to throwing gnomes through rings. Next episode, I'm going to try and find a way to make the last challenge somewhat more bearable. Alright, see you then. Sorry for all of this.